often when someone's looking for the perfect spot to eat, they turn to Yelp, I know I do. Um, it's filled with solid reviews and generally good details. Um, of the tens of thousands of restaurants they profile, Yelp narrowed down the top 100 nationwide and my guests are among them. All right, everybody, let's say hello to the owners of Cocina Madrigal in Phoenix, Arizona, Leo, his son Brian, and dialed in from the restaurant, his other son Edson. What's up, Edson? Oh, now you're, you're where I want to be. Hola, with all that tequila and stuff <laughs> behind you. Uh, well, Leo, I'm going to start with you because you've been working in kitchens for quite a long time, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you love it? You love cooking? Oh, I love it. I yeah. love it. No, since a child, I, I always was cooking with my grandma, you yeah. know, in Oaxaca, Mexico. And always we had to cook fresh because in those times, there was no refrigeration. Okay, so we had to be, we had to use everything as fresh as seasonal. You know, in the backyard of my grandma, we used to have a, a guava tree, a pomegranate, and, and a papaya, and nothing go to waste because it was no money. Okay, yeah. so we had to use everything as, as the season, it was fresh. And when I was a little older, I was able to move to the States, and uh, you know, and, and, and I'm here. That's amazing, though, that you, that, I mean, I know it was hardship, to, you know, it sounds like hard at times, but also to learn to cook with fresh ingredients that young, that's amazing and really good for you. Um, so Edson, um, you have a spread over there of some of our, of your hottest dishes. I love that I'm now part owner. <laughs> I just said our, um, and I just want to eat them is the thing. Uh, can you tell us about them? Well, yes. Well, thanks again, Kelly, for having us here on your show. It's quite uh, amazing for us to be part of this. But uh, welcome to Cocina Madrigal. I'm going to talk about to you some of our trio tacos. First of all, we have our beef tenderloin steak taco. Oh. It's been marinated with pomegranate, garnished with a little bit of crispy onion, pepper, a chipotle aioli, and gorgonzola queso. Next, we have our Oaxacan spiced shrimp with a little bit of our coconut slaw with mango and our avocado crema. Oh. And last but not least, we're gonna have our tacos al pastor. We roasted pork, pineapple, a little pickled red onion, cilantro, yes. and a Sonoran style, style type salsa. I got excited about that one, okay. <laughs> and real quick, before I had these other last two dishes, my brother and my father are both going to talk about the last two. I wanted to introduce to you to my mother, my sweet mother over here. Hi, uh, not Mama! Many people know who we make. Hola. Hello! So, not many people know, but we make all our corn tortillas in-house. And this is the lovely lady that's in charge of that program here at the restaurant. Oh my gosh, your family, this is so cool that it's a family environment. I, I love this so much and that you're succeeding as a family. That's so cool. Okay, so you didn't tell us um, about the two dishes. So Brian, you want to tell us about the last two dishes? Yes, of course. Uh, there in the center is our crispy salmon in that very colorful dish. Yes. And so that is a salmon that's been um, seasoned, mm -hmm. hand seared, served on top of the mashed potatoes. And then it's topped off with some roasted tomatillo salsa, Oaxaca spice shrimp, and avocado relish. Oh and it's God. one of my personal favorites. Just, it showcases the freshness of all the ingredients that we have. I love that. What's the next one? Yeah, I'll pass that on to my father and he'll describe uh, our most popular and best-selling item. You know, the, the last item that we have in the uh, screen is the uh, uh, wild mushroom enchilada. Having with the mole, with the peppers and onions and everything, it's just, it's just so different. Oh my God, I love it, I love mushrooms. I'm so, I'm so hungry right now. Um, well, I got the inside track from Yelp and I'm stoked that I'm the one to tell you that Cocina Madrigal is now Yelp's number one place to eat in the entire country. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so there is an actual award, Justin, that you have an award for the, there you go. Oh, wow. You can put that in, Cocina Thank Madrigal. Thank you so much. Um, wait, there is even more good news though, everybody. Um, that title means that Yelp is also giving you guys $10,000 just because oh, wow. you're awesome. Oh my God. Wow, thank so you so much. That Jeff. should help wow. a little bit. I mean, are y'all, I know it's so cool. Like you, you, you had this dream, you accomplished it, but isn't it even cooler? Cause I'm a mama and I have kids that you accomplished it with your family. That's cool. You know what? It, it is amazing feeling because you know, having uh, my two boys and my daughter, um, see them growing through college and graduate, you know, for me, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Absolutely. It's amazing love. And now they were working together even in, you know, in Cocina Madrigal. It, it gives me the uh, pleasure to see my family every day, every day. Yeah, and successful together. That's so key, that's yes. so cool. Um, well, we have to take a quick break, everybody, but when we come back, we'll learn how to make one of the restaurant's most popular dishes. This sounds so good. Caramelized pineapple guacamole. Exactly, I love my job. All right, we are back. 
back with Leo and Brian, the owners of Cocina Madrigal in Phoenix, which minutes ago, people, was named the number one place in the country to eat by Yelp. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Go check it out. Uh, so, Brian, we're about to make one of the hottest um, sellers, one of your best sellers, right? So, it's a guac, right? That's right. So, okay. we serve a variety of guacamoles at the restaurant. One has jalapeno bacon, another one has yeah. serrano chilies. Uh, but this one's actually a customer favorite, and we okay. serve it with caramelized pineapple. Uh, so, yeah, uh, just a little bit of background on the guacamole self itself, right? It's made to order, it's served fresh, mm. and then we also serve it with house-made corn tortilla chips. And so, yeah, my father's going to demonstrate how do we make this and, and make you a part of the interaction. Okay, fine. I'm going to learn how to cook right now, hey, Leo. Well, Teach I, me. We want to start with the uh, jalapenos. Okay. Cilantro and red onion. And what you're going to do is just throw it to your bowl. Okay, all okay. of it? Okay. Then you have your uh, salt next to you. Okay. I just like a okay. little. And one of the big things for me is uh, getting the juices and flavors from the uh, onion, serrano, and, and the uh, cilantro, okay? So you're gonna just oh, actually it. smash it, oh, okay? okay? Smash it. So you get some of the juices out of the onion and, and the uh, cilantro and the Do y'all have pepper. like music playing when y'all cook? Do y'all play music when you cook? We play a little oh, bit of yes. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a very fun and you family should. interactive uh, location. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying. Good ideas. <laughs> I have good ideas. After you get some of the juices <laughs> out already, then you want to put your uh, avocado. Oh, avocado. Okay. Okay. So you grab your avocado. Okay. Put oh, the spoon. Yeah. Both of them, right? Or the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you have that now. Avocado. So next step is we want to put some lime juice, fresh squished yes. lime juice. Okay. Okay. So I think they actually helped me out and did most of that. So there we go. Okay. So oh, then you're you gonna smash oh. your your uh, your avocado. Your avocado. Okay. I've never so done it like this. It, with a you, whisk. you definitely want to get in there. Yeah. But you don't want to smash it too much. You want to leave it a little bit of chunkiness for for texture. Yeah. And that'll kind of bring out some of the natural creaminess in it as well. Okay. I've never. I didn't know you did this with a whisk. I just learned something new. So. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah, I you know thank what? And, you. And the other thing, you know, you just think about what you like. You like a chunky, you like a smooth. I like, yeah, I like chunky. Me too. Okay, uh, so. In a lot of ways. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out. Um, <laughs> so now, now for the magic ingredient, right? Okay, what, yes. I heard you have the so, magic ingredient. So you have your uh, the special flavor of the pineapple, and uh, Brian so will show you what. Uh, all right, so it's a little hot, so careful there. We have the caramelized pineapple. Oh. And what you're gonna do here is just gonna go ahead and dice it. So you'll wanna cut it diagonally, right? And you can kind of cut it to the different sizes of whatever you prefer. We like them to be a little bit of thick just to bring out some of those juices out. Yeah. So once you're done cutting it diagonally, you'll turn it around and then you'll cut it diagonally the other way. So that way you okay. have perfect cubes okay. to throw into the guacamole. And then you just toss them in, right? That's correct, okay. yes. So then you stir it around? So that looks great. You know what? If, if uh, you can just mix it if you want. If not, just leave it in the uh, in the bowl. So oh, you can see the whole the pineapple. Oh, yours everything. is pretty. I'm, okay. I rinned it. Whatever. Great, we'll look at job. yours. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so can we oh. taste it now? Absolutely. This, okay. This I really want to taste it. it. It's it make sure so that you get a little bit of everything. Oh, I, so, I will, especially sir. the pineapple too. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> oh, the jalapeno and the pineapple. No, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, the pineapple really brings out a, a sweet yet tart flavor to the So dish. good. And so it makes a perfect combination with a, a classic entree or, or appetizer like the guacamole. Oh my God, I would throw down on that with a margarita, what? <laughs> oh my God, this was so good, thank you. I'm gonna be taking this bowl and all of this home with me.